Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 2. Last time we left off, we had finished level 1 and level 2, and now we have unlocked level 3. As I said before, the game is now going to be in black and white because I am now playing off the Kirby's Dream Collection. However, I took a screenshot of the Super Game Boy menu so you guys can continue seeing it. All I get to see is black. <laughs> Now, funny thing about setting up this file so it matched the first episode was, uh, remember how I mentioned the pink, or uh, not pink, the, um, ribbon gooey was super hard to get because of the low percentage rate? Well, while I was playing up to match this file, uh, guess who decided to show up and kind of just shoot me in the foot? <laughs> I'll put the picture up here because I had to take it with my phone. Oh boy. Anyways, we have unlocked level 3, so let's head to level 3. Triple Field! And Kind just decides to kind of eat us. <laughs> this song probably sounds familiar if you've played Return to Dreamland. This is where it's from! I thought this was too nifty. Anyways, I'm gonna dispatch Koo. And we hear the normal music. Oh, starting a palm tree. Very nice. Ah! Stop and go, Waddle Dee! Look him go! As my jump button fails to function. Okay. Thanks, game. Oh, it actually saved my health bar. I'll take that. I need some protection from coconuts. as is evident by Dreamland 1. <laughs> so, I'm actually using the uh, NES Classic controller to play this because it works and it feels more comfortable to me. Whee! I'm not gonna move. Oh, it wears out on its own. Oh boy, I gotta have to remember that. Now we're underwater. So like I said, this game is very unfamiliar to me. So don't be surprised if I actually end up gaming over, because I probably will. I can kind of see it happening. Thank you, game. Pretty phenomenal for being on the Game Boy. They were able to get a lot done. Probably should have cut her through here, but... Ah, never mind. <laughs> I had to open my mouth. Oh, that's the end of level. I guess I'm just used to them being much more extravagant, more than obstacle courses now. That's just me. Alright, our level is done. As a cat who's scratching at the door shouldn't be! Level 2. Or stage 2. And we got a Scarfy guarding just a star. Wait! That's just mean game. <laughs> Run me into some gordos. And they're teaching us something here. There's a door here. Is that where Kine is? It is. Jellyfish. There we go. He's an electric jellyfish. I just throws a star at you. That's kind of cute. Now we have Spark and Kine. And we can hear Kine's theme. Which is also a song I first heard in Dreamland. Or Return to Dreamland. I'm sure it sounds familiar to a few of you yet as well. I'm gonna get the 
those stars because it means extra life. There we go. Oh, that's right. Kind's ability is kind of broken in this game. Unlike in Dreamland 3, where they made it so that the light bulb actually broke, it's indefinite. It's only front forward, but it shoots off like a missile. And it's great. Oh, it does have a timer as well, huh? Or is it just my controller being dumb? Let's find out. Just my controller being dumb, okay. Maybe the batteries are getting low. So far, it's going well. Okay, that frightened me a little bit. I see a door. Right here. Oh, wow, that transition is nerve-wracking. I like how they handled this, though. That's pretty nifty. That was my own doing. Would you stop following me there, Needle? Uh, do I want fire now? Mm. Ah! I guess so. Take it. Won't do me much good underwater, but above water. I'm kind of curious to see if there's something here. No, there's not. There we go. We. That's it. Okay. I kind of have to explore to figure out where I'm going. Well, I got another life at least. Okay, now for stage three. mundane ability underwater. Close range, at least. I love how cute and slow the music is. Oh, that's right. That's all it does. And this one does actually go away on its own. So it's another kind of barrier for Kind the Fish. I guess you could say I'm playing this game partly blind because it's been years since I last played it. Frog. Ah, fish! <laughs> I'm reckless and I'll freely admit it. Oh hey, the eels! So this is where you're originally from. I thought it was always a new enemy from Dreamland 3. Anything special down here? Oh, there's something down here. Oh, just some stars. Ooh, a door we can only get to with kind. And I need lightning. That tells me there's something here that I can't see and I need it. Have to come back to this level? Did any of the enemies out here give me spark? Let's find out. Nope. You think an eel would give you spark? Or stone! That was kind of close. I'm gonna just have to come back here since I know that door is here. Frog. No. I'm not getting hurt by a frog! No. Ha! ha. <laughs> Alright. We'll just follow the current, I guess. We. Mine. There we go. <laughs> anything special by the looks of it. Ay! Frog. Frogs are not my friends in this game. At all. Oh, 
Oh wow, they really made that quiet. Okay, I'm gonna have to come back here. Hey, extra life. So we've unlocked the boss door. And I'll have to keep that level in mind. Let's get this boss done and dealt with. Oh, hello! I know you! Drops is going to be interesting in this game. Anyways, we've now unlocked level four, which is iceberg. Aw, poor kind. But I can understand. Kirby was cold. Rick's got some nice cozy fur. And speaking of which, sorry, kind. I don't want you turning into a fish sickle. This music is definitely one I've never really heard before. Oh look, Spark! Ah, the stop and go waddle man! Look at him. Ooh, I see. Needle might actually be helpful for this location. Oh, oh my, um... Oh, Rick is here. Well, I know we can get fire pretty quickly. Okay. Didn't think I'd be doing Mega Man hopping here, but it looks like I am. There we go. So it looks like Rick's gonna be handy here. Does he slide on the ice? No, he doesn't. He got good grip. A little hamster claws. Instant? Oh, these guys are evil! They were horrible in Dreamland 3, but they're worse here! Oh, dude! Nope. You go away. Oh, my. This is nerve-wracking. Penguin? Ooh, ice. The one nice thing about Kirby games like this is they le let you experiment with all the abilities. It's so much fun. And you learn. Just how I learned how those things were absolutely evil. I'm pretty sure the game still wants me to have fire, but... Hey, it's Rocky! Or Blocky, whatever you want to call him. Ugh, this is the reason I don't use it. Because your regular stars do so much more! Hey! The Rick Rock! Sure. <laughs> One thing I've learned is this game loves to throw you in pits. Hold on. Hold the phone. It looks like there should be something up there. But I can't check. Oh my. <laughs> that is very lucky. Still a Game Boy game, so these levels are pretty short. 